Yeah, quite a bit of difference depending on what part of the county and part, part of the region you're in. Here in this neighborhood, this part of Oak Cliff, you can see it has been a whiteout. And for the most folks, that means people have been staying in, but not necessarily everyone does. I am surprised this place is open. We'll see around the window. I came in at six today, which is an hour later than I normally come in. Britt Roseland and brothers Connor and Spencer Gunnels saw the roads, faced the conditions, but opened the Lakewood White Rock Coffee House this morning, only an hour late. It was actually really surprisingly dry in my neighborhood, and then when I got into the roads uh, coming up Buckner, um, it was a little, you know, shiny but uh, safe. Pretty bad. Not fun. From North Dallas to South Oak Cliff, we witnessed families braving these conditions on foot, many of them waiting for dark buses and others finding out the hard way. Slick streets can turn into ice rinks for cars and trucks. We had to get some groceries for the storm so we could try to weather it, weather it out. So what, the drive-in was fine and what happened? It wasn't, it wasn't fine. <laughs> it, was, it was manageable, but it wasn't fine. I have not seen anyone getting stuck on the roads as of now. Um, everyone's been going pretty slow and, um, you know, I've just been driving around the area locally, so uh, nothing too crazy. Uh, yeah, nothing too crazy. That's pretty much what we've seen in terms of those who did get out. In this neighborhood in particular, folks making sure that they kept it warm on the inside and power for their homes. We haven't seen any trouble whatsoever in this part of Dallas County. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News. And that's good news so far.